All right, good morning, everyone. Um, I just need one person to comment that you guys can hear me, okay? And I'm gonna start my presentation. I'll take about 25 minutes of your time today. Um, we don't have Igor in the studio, so we're struggling a little bit with the setup, but I'm pretty sure we figured it all out. Just if one person can comment that you guys can hear me, okay? I'm gonna start my presentation. Today's topic is how to get jobs from every job, from every build. Harlan, Trey, Jordan, welcome to the live. Juana Costa says yes. All right, let's do this. So the way uh, we're gonna play it, guys, is very simple. I have two levels for you. Uh, first level, is uh, just pretty much your basics. Every single person in the roofing business should do this. And then we're gonna go to a little bit more advanced. I'm not gonna ask you something that I wouldn't do myself. I'll show you what I would do if I would run a roofing business today. So first, let's go switch to my computer and I'm gonna show you uh, <clears throat> how to get job from every job. So beginner level. Here's the four things that every single person, even if you're one day in business, should do. Number one, yard signs. Yard signs is huge. And unfortunately, <laughs> they're not that common because who's putting yard sign? Usually is a sales rep. And I'm telling you this right now, that sales reps are lazy. It's a habit. It's something that you have to perfect. You have to remember all the time. I cannot tell you how many times I had to chase and police my sales guys to put yard signs on the jobs. You know how many times I went to the job site and it would be on a corner or in the main street and yard sign was, was, not, was simply missing. Absolutely not acceptable, uh, but unfortunately it takes place. So it's your job as a business owner to, first of all, to order good quality yard signs. As example here, I have Andy's roofing. I want to point how simple this yard sign is. It's their name, it's their recognizable logo, it's their colors of the brand, and there's a phone number. Some people like to put websites on them and some of them just phone numbers. It really depends what do you want your prospect to do? Do you want them to call you or do you want them to visit your website? My advice is if you have a killer website that's converts, maybe you have a company video on a website, maybe it's a cool uh, website domain name like um, filemyclaim.com and you want to drive tr you know, traffic to the website, whatever it is, you, if you have cool website, definitely put it here. But if it's not cool website, I think phone number could be the case. So it's really depends. Do you have a killer receptionist and or answering service or very well converting website? That's what you put in your yard sign. Andy's roofing though, huge uh, shout out to them. Andy's are amazing at their yard signs. They would put 20, 30 jobs, yard signs per job sometimes, literally leading to the job. They put them in the intersection. They're one of those guys that really dominate with the yard signs. And I guarantee you they're getting more than one job from every job that they do just because of this. So if you're not doing yard signs, uh, I don't know what's wrong with you. This is the cheapest a brand awareness, you're already there, you're already in the neighborhood. But again, it takes effort. It takes energy. You have to create, a, a build a web uh, yard signs. You have to deliver them. You have to pick them up later. Nobody's going to do that for you. Second one, work progress flyer. Uh, originally seen one of the best designs at Apple Roofing. You can see our designs here. It's actually the ones that we designed for uh, roofing school students. Every single person has to have one. You're already in the neighborhood. Uh, some gurus, some people trying to um, advertise it or claim that it's something super smart and extraordinary. Maybe five years ago it was. Today is the same stuff. We all do that. You, you go talk to your neighbor. You pretty much apologize for your mass. You tell them you're not trying to sell them here yet. You're just giving them information that, hey, there's a job going on next door. And you're probably going to hear loud noise for a day or two. You're going to probably see or hear, um, receive some debris on your backyard from our job. When that happens, please reach out to us. 
it's a common sense practice. Um, it's very basic. And if you're not doing it, again, you're not going to be getting jobs from every jobs. If neighbors don't know who you are, uh, they're not going to call you. Uh, last year, my neighbor was getting a uh, tree removed. And I have five, six trucks coming to remove those trees, take care of them, limbs and stuff. And I remember them coming to me. And I loved it because I actually have a couple of trees. I wanted to get price how much to remove tree from my backyard. If you're not going to make an introduction, uh, most likely people not going to come to you unless they really need your stuff. If they need your stuff, still, they might go talk to you, the neighbor first. How did it go? What kind of experience they have before they come talk to you? But if you come to them no brainer. You made introduction. They know what kind of person you are and where to find it. So again, very basic practice, nothing crazy here, but everybody have to have it work uh, progress flyer. Number three, presence on the job. I believe it's the best practice in business in general, in a roofing business to have some kind of production manager. Some sales reps act as a production managers, not many though. By the way, uh, Blaine, when I talk for a little bit, you can switch, make me bigger, and then get back to the picture. Or maybe uh, split the screen between me and the slide. So it's not always like slide full and me small. So guys, um, pr project manager on a job, super important. That project manager actually can sell many jobs. He can definitely sell jobs. Um, bring me a slide back. Can you split the screen? Or like it doesn't have to be one versus another. It could be split. Um, okay, so now it's only <laughs> slide. There's no me. Where is me? He's trying to figure it out. Presence on the job. Uh, <clears throat> look what Andy's doing. True Works Roofing is doing it. When you have local person. W w w All right, that's fine. Just Just keep it like that learn for the next time uh, again eager is out of the office today and we're trying to figure out uh what eager mastered before so now my guys know they better be paying attention when we do it again because everybody should be able to do this presence on the job is huge you guys have to uh think about what's happening on the job i mean you you get being charged um charging people twenty thirty thousand dollars as a matter of fact a lot of complaints are common because no one was present in the job from the management. Owner was not there. Uh, only subs were there. That's how most mistakes are happening. That's how, you know, you get those negative reviews. Even if everything goes perfect, people still will remember and hold it against you that no one was there to manage the guys. Even if you have the best guys, show up, talk to the owner, make sure you everything is good, make sure not only everything goes up to plan, but also that you're showing people that you are earning your wages in the simpler ways. Today, people will judge you. Nobody likes paper pushers. No one likes sales rep or business owner who signs contract and they never see him again. People want you to be present on the job. Drill it. Drill it in your head right now. You ha only have two, three jobs per day. Figure this problem out. You want to have good uh, reviews, presence on the jobs. Those reviews will get you more jobs. You want more jobs from every job that you do? Have someone on the job who will talk to neighbors, who will troubleshoot little problems, who will ask your crew to lower down the music, not to irritate everyone around it, You know, uh, who will run to the store to get something when something goes wrong. Comment below if you guys agree. Comment below if you have uh management presence on the job or if you just give an order to uh someone uh, to the crew and wait until they complete the job i want to hear from you uh, number four wrapped trailer this one is big uh wrapped trailer also uh, acts as a huge billboard i mean yard signs are nice but trailer in the job will solve so many problems number one extra materials you actually will save this trailer will pay for itself and this when we uh visited them last year they have two or three of them now so each trailer was built um to bring materials to bring catch all and others uh, bring the screen back please i'm talking about it so don't remove it so Andis 
Roofmatic, uh, Higgs, Higgs, they all have these trailers for catch-all system, for extra materials, underlayments, ice and waters, you name it, for extra two-by-fours. You guys can do magic. This really pays for itself. And it shows how professional you are and entire neighborhood sees it when they are leaving the neighborhood in the morning to go to work and when they come back at night. This is no-brainer. Everyone should have a trailer. And again, it's that presence on a job. Let's say you have a manager who manages two, three jobs per day. He can have two, three trailers, drop them, come pick it up later. And, but the trailer's still there. Materials are still there. So now we're going to go to advanced level. So that was all basic. Now we're at advanced. And I'll read comments really quick. Um, Andre said, on the site all the time during the build. That's the owner right there. Um, Sam Biz will say, I'm usually on the job as the owner. Love it, Sam. So now we are at advanced level. <sighs> Things are going to get a little bit tougher here. A little bit harder to implement, but I promise you, if you're serious about this, and by, by the way, think about marketing efforts to get the first job, to get in the first neighborhood. It's usually the most expensive. You pay for that Google lead. You, you ran a marketing campaign. Now you're oftentimes inside gated community. Oftentimes you're inside the neighborhood that rich people live, like on the lake, whatever. Now you're there. Your job is to get a referral from them and to get their neighbors. How do we do it? Number one, estimate flyer with actual cost. This is next level. I've been teaching it. Uh, you can see on the screen, Storm Group Roofing used to have them. So this one is you pretty much go on a job, uh, like you're on a job site, print one of them. By the way, at the end, I'll tell you how you can order if you're roofing um, uh, school students, how you can order it from us. But... This one, so many companies have done it. Have a stack of them. You walk the neighborhood, you see the damage. If you see missing shingles, if you're really good at sales as a business owner or sales rep, you can eyeball the prices. You can say, all right, this roof is 20, 22 squares. You can literally write down their name. You, you can write down your name and the price. It's rough price. No going to make you accountable for it, but you can literally say, hey, we're doing the job, put the address on the job that you're working. They probably have seen it. If you do everything we talked before, they've seen the yard signs, they've seen the trailer, they heard the noise, they know your neighborhood. They come home, let them see not the business card that you're trying to sell them. Give them freaking estimate. It'll take you two minutes of your time. Hey, my name is Dmitry. Your job should be about $16,000. It looks like you have discontinued shingles. We can actually can have your insurance to pay for it. And you only it'll only cost you deductible. Put deductible as a price, $1,000, whatever. But I would actually put the price. And put your phone number. Say, give me a call if you're interested. They see this handwriting, handwritten. They see the name. They trust you because it's actually a price. If they're not interested, they're not interested. But there's no gimmicks. There's no names. If it's a repair job, let's say you have two, three shingles missing. Right? Or let's say their chimney cap is missing. Or you can see some repair item like flashing around the chimney. You can write down like $650 for chimney reflash. Hey, I, uh, I was walking around the neighborhood while I was inspecting my roofers on this address job we did today, and I noticed that you were missing uh, flashing around your chimney. We do 20, 30 of them per month. Here's my price to do yours, $650, $850, $1,100, wherever the price is, stick it at the door. What do you think going to happen when people come from home and they have estimate for their chimney repair from professional companies they've seen their neighbors doing business with? They're going to walk to that neighbor if they're skeptical or they go to your website. One of the two things, if they need a service and they see the price, now they're just going to check you out. Like if you're a real deal, let's say they come to the, your neighbor and they show it to them. It's like, hey, this company showed up today. What do you think about this? Oh, awesome. Dimitri is awesome. They did my job today. He was present. They nailed this. You know, no brainer for me. Hire them. 
maybe I'm still there. We talk. Oh, I see you have that estimate. How it's going? My name is Dimitri. What's your name? Boom. Now you're getting their information. You already gave them an estimate. Now you're just closing the deal on the spot. Estimate flyer with actual cost is no brainer to me. And I would walk through entire neighborhood. Guys, you have eight, 12 hours per day on that job. You have so much time in your hand. In one hour, I could write out 10, 15 estimates, even if they're for full re-roofs. And if one of them gets back to me, my mission is accomplished. It's my payday. Is it worth your time for one hour to write 10, 15 estimates? Absolutely is. And if you're really good at it, you probably can do even more. Moving on. Door knocking. I'm not a door knocker. I'm not going to pretend uh, to be one. Uh, but if I'm in the neighborhood, I will talk. I will start the conversation. I'll talk about dogs. I'll talk about bikes. I'll talk about cars. I'll work around. I'll talk to neighbors because I feel like I belong there. I've been invited to the party. I'm doing a job. I'm fixing um, uh, their neighbor's roofs. I'm a hero here. So I'm. it's not even door knocking to me. I'm introducing myself. Love this. Door knocking is the next level. So many retail guys would not do door knock. I highly recommend you start researching. Um, and by research, I mean practicing learning how to do it. What tools do you have? What are you going to say when they not going to open the door? How are you going to overcome those objections? There's little signs to it. You cannot just knock at the door and introduce yourself. You have to know how to introduce yourself properly. We live in a crazy cancel culture cult times where if you're not appropriate, if you say one wrong word at the door, you can get shot. You can get killed. You, you can get banned from entire neighborhood. So you have to be um, very polite. You have to follow the rules. You have to understand what the rules are. You should not be door knocking and non-soliciting um, neighborhoods. By the way, uh, if you do see non-soliciting site, would you knock at the door? Big controversy in the roofing industry. I see so many people still knock it. And doesn't matter how many non-soliciting signs they see, they still do it. Uh, it's your call. It's your policy. It's your company. You do what you think is right. There's no right or wrong uh, answer here. It's just what, you, what you're good at. And you have to live with yourself. It's your business. You have to be able to teach and lead others. Like Lee Haight doesn't mind when he gets punched in the face. And he's proud of it. That he, he gets in people's face up until they punch him. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't like that kind of controversy. But if that's you, be you. But please door knock because it will bring you more business. By the way, give this video a like. It truly helps if you like this kind of content and if you want me to prepare, prepare more of these presentations. Because when I prepare presentations, when I do videos, I always read the comments and I see your engagement level. And if you guys don't engage... I think my team thinks that this was not important and we're going to produce different type of content. Maybe it's negative stories. Maybe it's a scam alert videos. You tell us what you engage with and we will figure it out what kind of content create for you. But if you like this one, like it, comment. Let's go to the next one. Number three, job site canopy. When As I travel through the country, this always impresses me. Uh, the one in the picture is from True Works Roofing. They're uh, out of Houston. Love their branding. They're always killing it with their brand. You can see the number. You can see the table. You can see the samples. Uh, this is very inviting. If you want to invite people to your job sites, this is what you do. You have no idea how many people are walking by your job site during the day. Dog walkers, um, uh, you know, mothers with kids. If you can get so creative with the canopies, you can have some water. You can have kids selling lemonade out of these uh, tables. Whatever you want to do, it's <laughs> uh, the creativity is endless. Not only are you going to have your roofers in a shade, not only are you going to have that manager or owner or production manager in a shade, but you also creating an environment where you can show samples to the neighbors, you can invite them. Remember the flyers I was showing you earlier? Remember knocking at the doors and the basics part, uh, portion of this 
presentation. Imagine if you have this set up and when you knock at the door, when you introduce yourself, you actually invite people to the job site and say, hey, we're going to have a canopy with some drinks and some samples. If you want us to, to show you anything, go over pricing, show you the products that we install and capable of doing, come see me. Let's have a conversation about your house. This is almost like inviting to your office, except your office just moved into their neighborhood. It builds some kind of uh, urgency. It's like, hey, this company is right here, right now. Something is happening in the neighborhood right here, right now. And if you have few people there, more people will come. And I've seen it at action. It almost feels like there's a celebration happening. Because every job that you should do is celebration, celebration of success, celebrating the sale, celebrating the installation, you know, made the most out of it. This is beautiful. It looks great. You look great. I cannot think of about one negative thing or one con about setting up academy on all jobs. Of course, of course, you have to spend time to set it up. What, five, 10 extra minutes? Of course, you have to spend money on it. <laughs> You're the business owner. You're supposed to spend money on advertising, on billboards, on things like this, but it works. And you have to spend money on transporting it to and from the jobs. But what are you getting in the return? Maybe you're getting one job from every job. And I think that's well worth the little investment that you have to do. And the last one, uh, not the last one, next one is a wrapped equipter, um, Eric Krina did a phenomenal presentation years ago and he was sharing how he is doing it. And Eric Rina is doing equipters in every job. And one of the things what I like what Eric Rina have been doing for years is he would bring it to the job site. All of his um, jobs are completely wrapped and you only need equipter during the removal first couple hours of the day, right? But then he would actually park it in front of the job site raised just like this so people see it no one gonna say a word but imagine if you have this machine up in the air with your brand name on it what effect do you think it does like think about wow factor now if you have a canopy on top of it and you knock a neighborhood and you give an estimates and stuff you're dominating the visuals of that neighborhood you are the most exciting things that happened in that neighborhood since it was built early in the days. That's that's the experience. Now you can talk about that machine. Most people have never seen such a thing as a quipter. People will think like you're the smartest guy in business. And in most cities in the United States, you are the smartest roofer in a city. There, you know how many markets does not have even one or two equipters? In even those when they have few, they still did not see it often enough not to have the wow factor. So if you have one of these bad boys, make sure you optimize it. Make sure you bring it to the average job, even if you don't need it, but leave it at the front, raise it up, start the conversation. It's crazy good. You will get all the attention you want. And marketing is attention. So think about it. Now, the, the most advanced level. Facebook ads, think about this. So now, you, so we reached them visually. Every single person who left that neighborhood in the morning and came back afternoon have seen us. Everyone with a damaged roof or visual uh, damage or old roof, discontinued roof already got our estimates at the doors. They've seen us, they've heard about us, we knock at their doors. Now they're, they're still on the phones. So let's say we did not get their attention yet. But uh, average person touches their phone, I think it's like 2,700 times per day. 2,700 uh, times per day. Busy people like myself, I think our statistics is like 5,400. I want you to think about three, 4,000 times a day we reach out and scroll. We're addicts. This is addiction. What it, and you're the dealer, you're in the neighborhood. How about you go and you actually can take that address and in that neighborhood or within mile radius, you can serve them in it. You can create a video and I'll teach you. If you're in the roofing school and you're paying like $5.99 a month, we actually starting creating ads right now for you. You can create a video introduction. Hey, my name is Dimitri. 
we're installing job right here. You're probably going to hear and see our signs while we're in the neighborhood. Let us inspect your job while we're here. It's free. Sometimes we charge if we have to drive too far out, but reach out to us. Let us inspect your job. This job is paid for by insurance company. Whatever the message is, record the video, click publish, put $10 Facebook budget, hit the neighborhood. Boom. It's done. It's done. So if there's person in this neighborhood that needs, needs a roof, they are there for you. They already have heard about you. They've seen you. They cannot say, I did not see. I didn't. They've been notified. So take advantage of it. Now, quick word is catch-all is a new standard. You've seen them uh, all over. It's not part of presentations. Like when, when something becomes a standard, you don't talk about it as a like, super cool practice. But you've seen most of those companies that I was showing you, they had a catch-all. Um, go to roofinginsights.com to find deals. We do have uh, affiliation link for uh, catch-all. You, you're going to get like 5% off or something like that. So pretty much all our recommendations, vendors, if you work with a Facebook company, uh, if you need someone to run your Facebook ads, you can find them on roofinginsights.com. If you need deal on catch-all, for example, you, you, you'll get the deal there. You get the idea. So all our recommended vendors, one page, there's going to be a button, brands we recommend. Click on it, get a better deal for yourself. For roofing school students, those who are paying $3.99 a month and up, uh, everything I mentioned in this video, vehicle wraps, um, trailer wraps, yard signs, trailer, uh, uh, you can email directly, and I highly recommend directly, brian at roofinginsights.com. It's our uh, graphic designer. He's on the right uh, of me on this picture. Uh, the sun was bright that day. Sexual screenshot from the video. But Brian is amazing. I, I get compliments on his work on personal phone all the time. Just uh, last week, like, hey, Dimitri, Brian is awesome. The way he designs the vehicles, he's a full-time designer at Roofing Insights. He's done it for years. And um, sometimes it's between us it's all communication. People see the video. They've been paying for the school, but they don't know who to reach. Guys, we're here to help you. I'm not here just to give you an idea or two. I, I'm here to help you implement those ideas. I want you to take the idea, implement it to life, and start using it. One job from every job is not a theory. There are companies who are doing it. There are companies who are getting two, three jobs from every job. There are companies who are dominating neighborhoods. Ever been, ever been in a neighborhood there's like five, six jobs by the same company? How do you think that happened? This is exactly how that happened. The question is, will you do it? I'm going to make you accountable. I'm actually, I actually have a few products coming to a roofing school that on accountability because so many people are watching the videos and they're doing this stuff. And the reason I'm actually bringing Brian here, and I want you to CC myself too, so I'm part of conversation. Because oftentimes, you know, you did get an email after you sign up for the school. You did get an email uh, with the idea, but 5 10% of people only would do what we ask them to do. So there's no reason you don't have those uh, flyers, work job progress flyers or estimate flyers. Go get it, guys. So like I promised you, 25, 30 minutes, it's all I have for you for the day. If you guys have any questions, this is your last call to ask a question. Uh, Juana Costa says, uh, remove the slide, please. Juana Costa says, we leave our equipter present in front when we're at the job along with our wrap trailer. Love it. Ernesta says, thank you for your help. Thank you, Ernesta. Uh, Harlan Trey Jordan says, we leave personalized letters at non-soliciting doors, have gotten good results from it. We're in Texas. We run into it all. Great content. Thank you, Trey. Again, here's the Brian at roofinginsights.com. If you're in a school and you need any graphic design flyers, and he will literally take that template that I just showed you and he will design one for you. And if you are not sure about 
your branding currently like if you don't know if you have a good yard sign if you don't know if you good have good vehicle wrap guess what reach that, send it to us we'll give you a recommendation it's never too late to rebrand to twig big companies rebrand and twig their brand all the time so uh remy lucy rodriguez says i'll be reaching out thank you and uh andre said great content well guys Thank you so much for your time and attention today. Happy Monday morning. Kill this week. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, kill it. Thank you so much.